before this video gets started, I have a really small little thing to tell you. For a very stupid reason, my Twitter account, uh, HatesMickey14, is now suspended. Mainly because of retweeting stuff that had music in it. And I guess because you retweet stuff that has music in it, that counts as copyright. But yet, I'm not the one who posted it. Anyway, it was a, it's a stupid ass reason. I have no access to it and it's not workable anymore. So because of that, I made a new Twitter page, which is HatesMickey13. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because some people assumed I blocked them on Twitter, which I didn't do. I didn't block anybody. I didn't unfollow anybody. I just don't have my page. I had a couple of people text me and message me like, hey, did you block me on Twitter? No, I didn't block anybody. My Twitter's suspended. I can't access it and it's not workable. So no hates Mickey 14. Yes hates Mickey 13. No. Yes. No. Yes. Thanks for listening to the small little message. Please enjoy the video that I worked very hard on. Time. So I'm going to be doing another long-awaited video at this point of another Facetune series installment. This video I almost scrapped completely because every time I tried to film this, there was some issue, technical-wise, uh, video-wise, sound-wise, uh, something was wrong. I filmed this three times. <laughs> three times. This is my fourth time filming this. So, I'm ready to jump off my roof. If this goes wrong, I'm literally jumping off my roof. And I'm letting you all know now, if I am found dead, I jumped. I jumped from stress of this video. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try one more time. I'm not a quitter, on most days. I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as possible. Mainly for my sanity of not sitting here another 550 million hours, it feels like. Like, this video stresses me out, so I was like, y'all better watch this from start to finish. This is my fourth time filming this, you better Appreciate it. Period! 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 So let's get started! So last time I did this video, I did a bunch of subscribers who submitted pictures and questions. But this time around, instead of doing subscribers, we're going to be doing small YouTubers or people who fall in that category. So the first client in Mickey's Beauty Boutique is the first of many, which I'm honored to kind of break that barrier of not including this type of person in a beauty salon. That's Candy. So Candy is, first of all, obviously she's not a person. Uh, <laughs> obviously she's not a YouTuber. So Candy is actually the dog of a YouTuber. Um, this is Nora's dog. My friend Nora, some of you probably know her as No Chill Nora. This is her dog Candy. And I was like, hey, this is a challenge I'm willing to take. So we're gonna make Candy a beautiful, vibrant, vivacious pup. So being that her name's Candy, the vision that I have, something colorful, pastel. So I'm gonna take the picker and we're gonna cover up these gray hairs right here on Candy's face. We're gonna look young and vibrant and not, you know, dated. So yeah, just put a nice little, you know, I just put it all over the face. Right, all right there. Just smear it. Uh, let's start with eyeshadow, I guess. So give her some yellow. Oh yeah, that's a nice shade. Very pigmented. Mmm, wow, amazing. Next, I'm going to do, ooh. Oh, that's a fun idea. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm going to take a blue, and I'm going to give her a nice, fine, Eyeliner line. Oh, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Sickening. Is that innovative? I know. Yellow eyeshadow, a little pop of blue. Fun, vibrant, says summer, says spring, whatever season you're in. She's ready for it. Give me a brown. And we are going to contour Miss Candy. A nice, subtle. Contour. Now, um, this is a blush. Let's do yeah, this is some blush. A nice little tap of blue. Oh, oh, yes. That, oh, that makes the colors pop in her eyes. Ah, oh, stunning. Maybe this is a good idea. I, oh, yes. Amazing. Now, no shade candy, but we gotta make the teeth a little wider. Just so you know, you look refreshed. What's next? Lipstick. Mm, some kind of mauve looking color, but it's not really mauve. It's kind of like purpley, but it's kind of like pink at the same time. We're just gonna put it on. Right there. You know what? I'm gonna be a little extra. Give her. <gasps> yes! 
Give her an inner corner highlight. Let's pack in one in there. Oh, amazing. Pack in one in there. Maybe a little dust on the nose. Honey. This, this is my best work. I honestly, so this is candy before. Really like normal, average. The dogs at the park don't really go crazy over her. And then here's after. She's young, she's vibrant, she's hip. All the pit bulls and all the Dalmatians are chasing after her because she's that girl. Fifi from down the street is about to lose her man because Candy is ready to go. You know what, I'm gonna make that my wallpaper on my phone. Next client! So my next client is a former client, Era. Uh, whoa. She was here before. Obviously I did great enough work she wanted to come back into my salon. So we're gonna try to figure out what to do with this. So she does like a variety of content. She tried to do Vlogmas. That failed very badly. Shit. Right now she's mainly to Twitch. So like if you're in, like if you're like a huge Twitch person, she's there. Okay, great. We covered up the redness in the face. I don't like the makeup she has on now. She put on a brow eyeshadow called it a day. No, that's unacceptable. So I want to take this color, like this orangey color in her sweater. Oh yeah, that's a pretty color. Like this burnt orange. Oh yeah, that's nice. I don't know, this looks like a nice color on her. Yeah, that orange looks like a nice color on her. Era, yeah. wear more orange eyeshadow. It looks great on you. So now, let's see. I want to spice it up. Take a green from the drink. You know what, we're gonna try to be a little dairy. We're gonna a little razzle dairy. Oh, you know what, I regret it. Actually, no, I don't. Wait, if you blend this correctly, this could work. Or just do it like that. Oh! Mm. That, that's it, that's what I was trying to do. Also, while I'm here, cause I, I keep looking at it, I'm gonna take that sweater color and just handle this cause it's right there in my face and I see it. I don't know, let's go to details and make her hair look even brighter than what it is. Oh yeah, it looks shiny. Okay, that's fine. We can go with that. Let's give a little bit of blush. That's not blush. Does she not have any on? Look, I think that's just her face. Tap along the nose. Cause we want it to be subtle. We don't want it to be like, oh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> cause her nose looks so damn sharp. Oh, I didn't erase. I was adding more. <laughs> Go to some highlighter. Then we're gonna take a little, 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 yeah. Um, you know, maybe you do like a little brow. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah. Now lips. What do we do with orange and green? A nice dark red, maybe? I don't know. It's not my face. So if it looks ugly, it ain't my fault. Let's try that. <laughs> Will it work? You know what? Just take her natural lip color, whatever the color picker gives you, and just do like a nude natural lip. This is era before. Very casual, very, I guess, natural glam. A nice brown tone. That's it. I think that's it. Just foundation and brown eyeshadow. Here's after. More like, okay, here's a little color. Here's some highlight. Here's like two painted nails that make no sense whatsoever with this outfit. <laughs> it's here! So! Next client. Oh my god, I forgot her name. Tessa! Tessa! <laughs> I was like, wait, I know her name. It's Tessa! So Tessa's somebody I met at um, Playlist a couple of months ago this year. Um, she's really nice, very funny. Um, I kind of see a lot of my personality traits in her. She's witty, she's funny, she's caring. I was like, hey, you seem kind of nice. Let's be friends. And we, we kind of like interact with each other here and there. We're, we're like mutuals at this point on, online. So first, I want to get a foundation color. So um, it, it, if we're talking content in two separate places, I guess. Online, mainly like on Instagram and stuff, she does makeup. She's really good. Totally check her out. Her channel, air, uh, we'll link her stuff down below. Everyone's stuff will be listed down below. I don't know, I'm gonna keep saying this. So now I'm gonna go in Smooth Tool to give it that photo finish look of foundation. Luckily, her skin's not that bad, so we don't have much to affect. Ooh, ooh, oh, this, this right here, where I'm circling. That, that's a great color combination, I think. We're gonna do that. Um, so we're gonna work some magic right now. So, ha, ha, 
we know that I have the talent and the skill to finesse makeup over a phone. So then go back to the tones and we're gonna take this green color on her shirt. Like blend the two colors together without making it look too Christmassy. We don't want Christmas. It's like <sighs> Christmas. <laughs> Appointment of Christmas. That's what we want. We don't want Christmas. We want Christmas. Kind of natural looking, but still kind of fun. But like, not too fun. Disappointing. Alright, I can deal with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 check. Can Alana be cousins and not sisters? Like eyebrows? It's about to today. I'm gonna be a little bit extra. I want to take, what's the color of this necklace? A nice, a kind of goldish color. Mm hmm. We're gonna take that, right? We're gonna pack it in the center. Oh, bitch! That was a great idea! <laughs> wow! My brain does wonder sometimes! Cling, cling, bitch! We had a good idea! <laughs> the first good idea of this video so far. The other two makeup looks, I have no idea. But this one, this one had thought put into it. <laughs> this color, maybe for blush. We're gonna try it and see how it happens. Mm mm. Mm mm. Nope. Let's do like a, a mm, yeah, okay. Oh, I see it now. It's subtle, that's what we want. Zoom in and just tap around. A kind of a lip planner, you know? Like you, you see what I'm trying to give? I'm trying to give you like a little, oh, uh, you know, I'm wearing a MAC lip pencil and then I filled it in like some other MAC shit, and then I put like some other MAC on top to make it glossy. Pick the color of the necklace. I think it'll be a pretty nice little highlight. It's kind of like a copper. Is it even sh hello? There it is. So I'm gonna stick with a nice, a nice yellowy golden look. Before, after, before, after, before, after. Now, like I said, I didn't have to do much. Just you know, a little light layer of foundation, a nice pop of color in the eyes, a nice lip. That was it. Bottom line is. Y'all making my job too easy. That's the problem right now. Hey guys, welcome to the other half of this video that's recorded months later. I recorded that first half back in May. It's June. So, a little bit about Riley, his content and his channel, things like that, you know, YouTuber stuff. Oh. His content, I don't know how to classify it. I guess it's kind of like lifestyle slash a little bit informative here and there. He does some content like like, you know, like, I guess, like, favorite books of the month. A couple of videos about, you know, what it's like being trans. Um, so I guess, which, by the way, I guess those can kind of count as informative as well. Because he, because I guess he's also trying to educate the people at home who have no idea or who want to, I guess, find a better way to support their trans friends or family or people they know. So it's, like, informative. I want to do something very stereotypically gothic looking. When I say stereotype, I mean really stereotype. Um, so let's like fill in these brows, Henny. Make them look darker. Actually, you zoom out a bit because you're messing up the brows. Actually, that's a nice coverage. My first decent looking brow. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Uh, my first hair color. Hmm, work. We're, we're, we do wonders here at Mickey's Beauty Boutique. <laughs> We do everything. So the reason why I'm going for like a goth look is mainly just because I saw a black shirt. I actually want to go a little paler with the skin, so I'm going to take some like pale color foundation. I don't know. We don't want any like warmth. We want like that pale like oh uh, Edward and Twilight look. Mm, you know. Actually, that's a nice foundation tone. Wow. Have I gotten this good at this? Probably. Let's do like a nice eyeliner. A smudge eyeliner look. I feel like Riley's that kind of person who probably had like a golf phase. I gotta assume something. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. <coughs> nice black lip. Mm-hmm. I feel like that completes the gothic look. But then again, we're going for like the stereotype movie goth. Yeah, actually, you know what? No, black lips look terrible. Plus it covers up the whole entire lip. You can't even see that it's a look there. Can I make a tattoo? We're gonna make a tattoo. That looks so out of place. Actually, no, I kind of like that. Fun! Actually, you know what? Um, give me a purple. A nice dark purple. And then we're just gonna... Ooh, yeah. That's nice. Actually. See, when you don't know what to do, an idea comes to you and sometimes it works. So this is... Before. After. Before. After. 
All I did was just darken the hair. Well, the hair wasn't not dark. It was just the light made it look like it was gray-ish. So I made it black looking. Um, fill in the eyebrows. Lighten the skin a little more. Give it a more like washed out color just so I can add a little bit of blush. And then, you know, nice purple eyelight. Eyelight? <laughs> Eyeshadow. And, you know, a wing and some eyeliner. Really simple, really fun. Um, a little bit of pop of highlight. I can't, I couldn't find the lip color. So I didn't bother because I didn't want to ruin it. I actually like it. It's a clean, simple look. So my next client is Sadie. Um, I'm going to start doing my foundation process and now it's plain. Because this picture is kind of like blurry, I don't really need to do anything. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Sometimes a blurry photo goes a long way. I feel like everyone's channel is a variety channel at this point. Because usually some people have a specific thing they do. But then it's like some people don't. And I like that. So, <laughs> I feel like everyone I've come across so far, I'm like, yeah, I don't know what they do with their channel, because they're, 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 they do a lot of content. I'm gonna give my first girl drag transformation. So, she does like vlogs, Q and A's, she does some challenges, uh, maybe some story times? I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, she's kind of like a variety channel. I feel like I say that about a lot of people so far. Oh, they're like a variety channel, but it's true. They all have a variety of content. They don't have like one specific genre they stick to. So if you hear me say that a lot, I'm sorry. It's not just my automatic answer, because I don't because I don't know. I do know. I look at each channel before I did this, just so I can describe the channel. But sometimes it's kind of hard to describe a channel that has so much variety of content. So it's not easy. <laughs> I guess that's lightening it up. I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. Oh, it did. So that's the foundation. Probably doesn't look too crazy. That's okay. It's going to get worse from here. So we have our contour color and we're just going to gonna go under the chin. Even though she already has a small head. I feel like a contour under the jaw isn't necessary, but it's a drag thing. Actually, just do one side because you can't really see. Oh, whoa. <laughs> you can't really see the other side. So let's just do one side of the nose, I guess. Not too drastic, because she already has a she already has a small face. The purpose of contour for drag queens is to make your face look small and feminine. Being that she already has a small face, we don't need to do that. So I was like, we don't need to go too heavy with it. Unless we wanna unless we wanna do like a Trixie Mattel look. <gasps> we're gonna do a Trixie Mattel look. <laughs> I'm excited now. <laughs> so we're gonna start here. Boom. Trixie Mattel, right there. So that's Trixie's eyeliner. <laughs> Just that, a big block of black. <laughs> I cannot believe I didn't think about this till now. To do a Trixie Mattel look on somebody. That, uh, where's my brain been? Now we're gonna do a white eyeliner to make the eyes bigger. Actually just cover the whole line of her lower line. There you go. So then really chisel out that contour. Like really go for it. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. And then we really just cake on that blush. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's it. Make a whole new eyelid above that harsh eyeliner line. Wow. This is I'm truly a drag artist. <laughs> and then we take like a darker tone and create like a transition color on the outside. It's pretty. I like that. And then we're going to first overdraw the lips. So it looks kind of crazy, I know. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's the lip liner. I didn't erase it all the way on the top lip. Oh, crap. Okay, now it's gonna look weird. <laughs> look like she has a purple mustache. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh no, I can't undo it. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this being a good one. Okay, now we're gonna do the highlight. This is Sadie. Before. Now, her drag, what, what will her drag name be? I gotta give her a drag name. Uh, you know what? Her drag name is just gonna be her YouTube channel name. So this is Sadie. This is Shady Sadie. Shady Sadie is a drag queen who auditioned for RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, she auditioned for season 12. Sadly, she got rejected because they just didn't want her on the show. So Shady Sadie didn't make RuPaul's Drag Race, unfortunately. But in her hometown of Wisconsin, she's a very popular drag queen at all the drag bars. Uh, she gets great tips during her performances. Her favorite song to perform in drag is um, Chandelier by Sia. So the next client in Mickey's Beauty Boutique is Kabar. But her channel is, I guess if you had to dwindle it down to two things, it's a lot of, you know, there's some skits, there's some, she gives like advice videos, you know, hey, here's how to deal with like 
being outside of your comfort zone and stuff of that nature. So we're gonna put on a light color here. I don't know, let's see how this goes. <laughs> put on like a light color just to start the base. You know, I know my terminology. I don't know, let's do like a darker purple. Ah, oh, transition color, oh yeah, okay. Outer color, oh yeah. Mm-hmm, that's it. That's the one. Stunning, check. A little, soup. Oh yeah, oh honey, honey. Ah, oh, that was a perfect wing. Tap to, oh no. Everything went wrong. I, oh, 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 it's fine. <laughs> I was like, tap to blend so it doesn't look like it's drawn on her face. But I was like, oh no, it looks like I can see through it. One thing I can do, make this look natural. <laughs> um, okay, there we go, perfect. We're gonna do white circles to emulate little specks of glitter. Cause why not? Why not have a little shimmer shammer on the eye? Just to give it a little, you know, I feel like Kamar. She sees a little glitter in her life. I don't know why, but like a nice warm tone blush, I think would be nice. Yeah. No, uh, that's too orange. I said warm, not Coco Montrees. Well, you concerned about what's going on over here when you need to be worried about what's going on over there with that same makeup you've been running on the runway every single time. Girl, look how orange you fucking look, girl. I'm not joking, bitch. And then I'm gonna do some highlight. I don't think we need to do contour. Her face is very slim as it is. You know what? I'm gonna do it anyway, because I want to. <laughs> and then blend this nose contour. Because again, we want subtle, not Michael Jackson. I think I completely erased it. You know what, forget it. No contour in the nose. Just the cheeks and what I did up here. All right, now we do our highlight handy. Sitting work. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm whispering. I should do the rest of the video like this. Like ASMR beauty. Has anybody done this before? I'm dreaming. It's gonna be the next big wave of YouTube. This is Kamara before, after, before, after. I was going to do a really like neutral tone look, but for some reason I saw that purple. I was like, oh, I want to do something with that purple. And then we came to this. I, I say it like it's a bad thing, but it's not. I actually kind of like it. Um, it's very chic. It's it's more than just going. To the office, you know, because I was like, oh hey, blazer, I'm getting like, we're going to the office, girl, get that coin. But, but I was like, well, why not have like, I don't know, it's like a, a fun office, you know, it's great for the office. But then we're like, oh, after work is over, I'm out this bitch, we're going to the club. This is a great from work to club look, I think. So, So, 
This is Sarah before, after, before, after. Did too much, a little contour, a orange color for the eyes, golden highlight. I feel like this is a nice summery look, you know? You know, if you want a real hot girl summer, this is the look you go for. So, I don't think I mentioned that this video is going to come in two parts because I had a lot of people, so I had to like make a video short. So, yeah, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up, comment down below, and tell me should I start a makeup career? I genuinely think about it a lot. But then again, I don't think I can do it. But then I see stuff like this, and I'm like, wow. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because if you subscribe, I become a little bit more magical. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to be the first person to watch the video when it first comes out. Hopefully, no one's going to be DMing me like, hey, you made me look terrible. I tried my best. Black Susan. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. As always, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye. I feel like, uh oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm saying, I feel like my voice is going to be very dry. It feels fine. Anyway, bye! <laughs>